and welcome to another of the running channel's home workouts. It doesn't matter how much space you have, nor do you need any specialist equipment, just follow along with me, Anna. And me, Andy. Today we'll be working out with you so you can follow along. So grab yourself some water and get ready to sweat. If you're new to the running channel, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you'll be notified when we upload new videos, just like this one, which we do every week. Stand up straight with your arms out to the sides. We're doing 15 seconds of forward arm circle movements first, which will gradually get bigger as we go. Okay, and now switch to backward circles. So imagine you're drawing a spiral on your walls with the ends of your fingertips. Five, four, three, two, one. Over to Andy for the next warm-up exercise. Okay, we're easing you in with the warm-up, so let's start getting the legs ready. Walking high knees. Stand tall with your arms at your side and feet shoulder width apart. Raise your right knee up towards your chest as high as you can and drive the opposite arm. Repeat with left knee and right arm, alternating back and forth like an exaggerated walking on the spot. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. On to some jump ropes. So we're pretending that we've got a skipping rope in our hands. We're gonna jump lightly on the balls of our feet while pretending to use the skipping rope to get those shoulders and wrists warmed up. You've got 10 seconds left here. Five, four, three, two, one. Over to you, Andy. Next, into some squats to get those glutes firing. Find a foot stance that feels best for you Start with about hip width apart. Engage your core and stay as upright as you can. Be careful to keep your knees in line with your toes. Don't let them cave in. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now time for some running on the spot. We're getting your heart rate up here. Keep driving those arms and engage your core. Make sure you land on the balls of your feet. You've got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Now for some inchworms. Start standing. Reach your arms down towards the ground and walk your hands away from your feet to get into a plank-like position. Then walk them back to your feet and stand up. Carry on doing this worm-like crawl. Remember, this should be nice and controlled and you don't have to keep your legs straight if you don't have that flexibility. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. More jump rope, okay, get that imaginary skipping rope out again. Stay nice and light on the balls of your feet. You don't want to annoy your neighbour downstairs. There's 10 seconds left on this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Over to you, Andy. Straight into some high knees. Give it a bit more energy to really get your heart rate up as we head towards the main exercises. Drive those arms and focus on engaging your core and staying upright. Get those knees nice and high. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two. One. And we're back with the jump ropes. Really try and land as softly as you can here. There's 10 seconds left. 
five, four, three, two, one. Right, last warm up exercise with Andy. The focus for this one is on coordination. So jump your right foot forward, your right foot back, then jump out to the sides and return to the middle. Forwards, backwards, side, middle. Forwards, backwards, side, middle. This is switching your brain on and getting you ready for one of the main exercises that will take a little bit of extra coordination and concentration. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, well done. We hope you're nice and warm now. There's 30 seconds of rest here before we get into the main 20 minute workout. Andy and I will be guiding you through six exercises. We'll be doing them for 45 seconds each with a 15 second rest in between. We'll do each set three times and have a 60 second rest between each round. You ready? We're starting with some split squats. Don't let that front knee come over the top of the front of your toes. Lower and pause and drive through your front heel to stand back up to the start position. Swap legs, so pop your left foot forward this time. Really concentrate on not bringing that front knee over your feet. You've got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, 15 seconds here before Andy takes you through some dead bugs. Lie on your back for this one with knees bent up at a 90 degree angle for your hips and your knees. Arms straight up to the ceiling and then we're going to take your opposite arm and leg and stretch them out until they're close to touching the floor, then bring them back up again. Do the same with the other arm and leg and then repeat. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Fifteen seconds here before we head into the next exercise. Plank up downs with Anna. Plank on your elbows and focus on engaging your core and glutes and pulling your shoulder blades back and down towards your waist. Now we've got an easier option, so just hold regular or high plank instead, or keeping a nice straight line from shoulders to hips and ankles, work hard to engage that core while moving up to the press up position, one hand at a time, and then back down again onto your elbows. Repeat this movement, alternating the hands and arms that you're using. Don't forget to take a rest if you need it. You've got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Right, it's over to Andy for the next one. After your 15 second rest, you've got burpees, everyone's favorite. You might not like them, but burpees are the ultimate home workout move to give you bang for your buck. If it's too much though, you can switch to squat jumps instead. Remember, these exercises are as hard or as easy as you want to make them. It's up to you, so no need to go crazy. We're doing regular burpees instead of CrossFit burpees, so drop into a press-up position, take your legs back out behind you and then jump them back in again, like a squat thrust. Then jump straight up in the air with your arms reaching up high, land and repeat. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. 
15 seconds here and the next exercise is on the floor. Anna's taking you through some side lying leg lifts. Okay, lie on your left hand side with the bottom leg bent and the right leg straight. Now lift your top leg and slightly away from your body around 10 degrees. Keep the rest of your body as still as possible. So really targeting, activating those glutes. Just stick to the right leg for this circuit. We'll do left next time and then in round three, we'll split both sides. You've got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Get yourself ready for the last exercise of round one. Andy will be taking you through some side plank. Side planks now. We'll do half on one side and half on the other during this round. On your right side, support yourself on your elbow on the outside of your bottom foot. Put your top foot on the ground slightly in front of your bottom foot so that a line drawn from your shoulder through your hips would split your feet. If you find it too much of a challenge here, then you can drop your arm from reaching up to the ceiling to be on the side of your hip instead. Swap over sides that you're on your left now. Stay nice and straight, engaging your core and glutes to maintain your posture. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Great work, that's round one done. Now we go back to the start with those split squats after you've had a rest. 60 seconds here to get you ready for round two. Okay, how are we feeling? Back into it with round two and back to split squats. Really sit back into this move. Focus on squeezing your glutes. Don't lean forwards or backwards, stay tall. Okay, now swap legs. So this time it's left foot forward. Okay, you've got 10 seconds left now. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. 15 seconds of rest here before dead bugs with Andy. Okay, back down, lying on your back for the dead bugs. Really focus on that 90 degree angle at your hips and knees and keep the arms straight up to the ceiling. Only lower your legs as far as you can whilst maintaining a good spine position. Half the battle with this one is your coordination. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Fifteen seconds here, then it's back to plank up downs with Anna.
Okay, start in that full plank, lower your right elbow to the ground, then your left coming into the elbow plank. Put your right hand on the floor, straighten that right elbow and do the same on the left to get back to full plank. That's it. Keep it going. Remember, if you are struggling with this one, you can dial it down and hold regular or high plank instead. You can really work as hard as you want to. If you need to dial it down a notch, then make sure you do. 10 seconds left here. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Great job, we're now halfway there. After your 15 second rest, you're back to burpees. Stay strong through your core on these burpees, keeping good posture during the squat thrust. If you're finding it hard, slow the movement down. Focus on the quality, not the quantity. Don't forget, if you want to dial this one down, then do squat jumps instead. Take a rest if you feel like you need it. Don't let your form suffer. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. And lie on the floor. Anna's got your side lying leg lifts on the right hand side this time. got your breath back those burpees have done me in right we're on our right side for these leg lifts now make sure your top leg lifts slightly away from your body around 10 degrees ish behind you really keep the rest of your body as still as possible Okay, 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Your last exercise of round two's on its way, side planks with Andy. Okay, let's start on your right again. Stagger your feet for stability and engage your core. Try not to let your hips drop down and stay in a nice straight line. Time to swap over sides now. Point your top arm up to the ceiling. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, that's round two done. Last round coming up, you're doing a great job. Grab some water if you need it, you've got 60 seconds of rest here now. Welcome to round three. You're doing so well. Back to split squats here, so step that right foot forward. 
Stay as upright as you can as you bend and sit down into that squat. Okay, time to swap legs, so left foot forward. Really focus on where that front knee is. Okay, 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. 15 seconds to dead bugs. Okay, last round of dead bugs. Have you managed to nail the coordination yet? Really engage your core here. This is a great exercise to do for your core as it puts less pressure through your lower back than things like sit-ups and crunches. Focus on controlling the movement as much as you can and hold your arms and legs just slightly off the floor. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Fifteen seconds here before we head into the last lot of plank up downs with Anna. Focus on keeping a steady rhythm with these plank up downs. Pay attention to your form so body straight and those lower abs pulled in. Don't forget you can hold regular or high plank instead. Breathe in as you come down onto your elbows. Breathe out as you push yourself back up onto your hands. Focus on your form and if you need to dial it down a bit then make sure you do. There's 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Right, it's over to Andy for your last set of burpees. Come on, you've got this. Here we go, last lot of burpees for this workout. Get down into that press-up position, take your legs back out behind you and then jump them back in again, just like a squat thrust. Jump straight up in the air with your arms reaching up high, land and repeat. Stick with the squat jumps if that's more comfortable for you. Stay strong, take a rest if you need to. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. And rest, well done. Get yourself down on the floor, ready for Anna to take you through the sideline leg lifts. Okay, last round of side lying leg lifts. We're gonna do half one side and half the other this time. So on your left hand side, bend the bottom leg and start lifting your right leg straight and slightly behind you. Really hold the rest of your body as still as you can. Time to switch sides over to your right. You should really be feeling this in your glutes now. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, the last exercise for the main workouts coming up. It's side planks with Andy. A reminder, we'll do half on one side and half on the other during this round. So starting on your right side, support yourself on your elbow. 
Keep engaging your core and glutes to maintain that posture. Okay, swap over sides now so that you're on your left. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. And you're done. Awesome. Please stick around though. We've got the cool down coming up, which is super important. Grab some water, catch your breath, and we'll see you for some static stretching in a minute. Okay, let's stretch out the quads first. Grab the top of your left foot behind you and gently pull your heel towards your left butt cheek. Stretch the front of the thigh. Try and keep the knees touching if you can. And release. Switch to the other side now. So grab the top of your right foot behind you and pull that heel towards your butt cheek. Hold here for 15 seconds. Now let's stretch out the hip flexors. Step your left leg forward, keeping both feet pointing straight ahead. Keeping your back leg straight, avoid sticking your bum out and arching your back. Slowly bend your front leg and push your right butt cheek forward until you feel a stretch across the front of your right hip joint. Now repeat with the other leg. You can do this with your back knee on the ground or by staying standing. Feel wherever the stretch is best for you. Okay, let's stretch out the lower back now. Lie down on your back with both feet flat. Pull your right knee up to your chest until you feel a stretch in your lower back. Now repeat with your left leg. So stretch your right leg back out and bring that left knee into your chest. Hold again for 15 seconds. and release. Now pull both knees back to your chest. Give yourself a little well done hug and hold it here for 15 seconds. You should really start to feel this stretch in your lower back. Stay on the floor on your back with your arms stretched out to the side and bring your right knee to a bent position, foot flat on the floor. Lean your right knee over to your left hand side so that your right hip twists over your still straight left leg. Now repeat on the other side. This one is a great stretch, not only after a workout like this, but also at the end of the day if you spend a lot of time in the week sitting down. Okay, last stretch here. One of my favorites from yoga, it's child's pose. So onto your knees, touch your big toes together and sit back on your heels. Then separate your knees about as wide as your hips. Reach forwards with your hands and drop your head between your outstretched arms. Reach as far forward as feels comfortable so you can really feel this stretch. Hold it here for 15 seconds or really as long as you like. sticking through with us. How did you find it? Sweaty enough for you? As runners, we should be trying to include some strength training like this into our routine at least once a week. It's really helpful when it comes to injury prevention. We hope you enjoyed working out with us today on the running channel. 
Please do let us know how you got on in the comments below. Ask us any questions you might have or make suggestions for future workout ideas that you'd like to see. And we'll see you next time.